Here at the bottom, a very long list of option trades. You see that as a result of selling options over the past 31 and a half months, we've pocketed a net of $490,226. Pocketing that much cash is pretty awesome all by itself. But what makes it a little bit sweeter is that as you see here on December 1st of 2020, I began to share all my option trades in my main option account with my patrons. During that time, we've been through bull and bear markets. But one thing has been consistent throughout this entire 31 and a half months. Every month, we've consistently put nice cash into our pocket as a result of selling options. Here you see a chart of our returns in blue compared to the SP500 in green during that time frame between December 1st of 2020 and August 1st of 2023. Notice that during this time frame, sometimes our returns are pretty close to the SP500. However, notice that over the long run, our returns have drastically outpaced the return of the S&P 500. Let's dig in a little bit deeper to see what's happened during this time frame. We've collected almost half a million dollars net in option premium. Here you see the returns of the S&P 500 in the left column and our account in the right column. First, we see the sharp ratio. And remember, with the sharp ratio, you want that number to be as high as possible because it means you're better compensated for the risk that you're taking. Notice that over the past 31 and a half months, the sharp ratio of the S&P 500 has been 0.43. Ours was almost twice as high at 0.79. And then we have the Sortina ratio, which is another way of measuring your return based on risk. Notice that the S&P Sortina ratio was 0.61 and ours was almost twice as high at 1.12. Then we get to standard deviation. And remember, you want standard deviation to be as low as possible because it means that your returns are more consistent. The S&P 500 standard deviation was 1.12% and ours was lower or better at 1.03%. And finally, let's look at our returns during this period. Notice in the bottom right, we've had 402 days where our return was positive and the S&P 500 was a good bit less at 376. So 57.84% of the days were positive for us, whereas 54.1% of the days were positive for the S&P 500. And here you see a breakdown of the returns by day. On the far left, we see the days that were negative six to negative 4% and then negative four to negative 2% in the next column, negative two to 0%. And then we get to our positive returns on the right side. Notice that with these negative returns, in every time frame, the S&P 500 has more negative returns. And here you see that on the right side, the profitable days, we consistently had more positive return days than the S&P 500 over the past 31 and a half months. Now let me show you how much net cash we've pocketed over the past five months by selling options. As you notice in the bottom left corner, this time frame is from March 1st of 2023 through August 1st of 2023. Notice that as a result of selling options, that includes buying to close options we previously sold and selling to open new options, we've put a net of $57,687 cash into our pocket. Trading commission costs us just over $594. Here you see a list of all the dividends that we received during this five months. Scrolling to the next page, you see that dividends total $5,246. Here you see the interest we've collected over the past five months because of all the cash we have sitting in our account waiting to be deployed if the cash share put options were assigned to us. Notice that we pocketed just over $7,000 $111 in interest on that cash. And then just below that, you see we were charged data fees in the amount of $163. So you see a summary of the net cash flow we realized by buying and selling options over the past five months. Notice that as a result of selling options these past five months, we pocketed $69,000 $287. And just so you know, we have right at $650,000 cash in this account. We have extra cash set aside for these positions if they were all put into our account, but it's at different brokerages. Now, something else I want to share with you that I normally don't share in these monthly option trading cash flow videos. We take at least 10% of the cash flow that we've generated by selling options in this main option trading account and buy stocks outright with it. Here you see the alert I share with my patrons when we bought several stocks outright last week. So in addition to generating really nice cash flow in my main option trading account, we're also generating really nice cash flow and building up a really nice portfolio of stocks and my outright stock ownership account. This is an account where I buy stocks I plan to hold forever as long as nothing drastically changes with the companies. In the bottom left here in the red circle, you said this overall portfolio of 126 positions pays us right at a 4.16% annualized dividend. And keep in mind, those dividends are growing. This portfolio currently has a value of just over $70,450. Here you see the amount of dividends that's estimated we will collect because of this portfolio in the next 12 months. 
that is said it's almost $2,800. That's the easiest $230 I make every single month. And this portfolio is designed to own companies that have a history of growing their dividends. If you'd like to see all the trades we've done in this main option trading account over the past five months, I post those monthly statements for everyone to see, patrons and non-patrons, on my Patreon account. The link is down in the description below. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we do trades, like this bullish put credit spread we did in Journal Dynamics last week, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how we've generated over $490,000 net cash by selling options over the past 31 and a half months, check out the video series at the link below entitled Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.